fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. What up, y'all? What's going on, guys? We're Embrace the Sick 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. As if we didn't have enough material on this <laughs> channel to stir the pot, we're adding some more to it. Why not? We're checking out David Cross, Why America Sucks at Everything. And David Cross is in a lot of movies. Uh-huh. He's in a lot of, like, scary movie, uh -huh. wasn't he? He was the guy in the wheelchair. Yeah, he was. That was him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I cannot wait. It's... Uh, this is going to be interesting. You, you know, usually we try and steer away from, like, topical things. We're here for laughs. We're here for positivity. But if, if we're going to get on our soap stand on this, our soap box, uh, this is a video we can get on our soap box. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess so. You know, this, this would be the one video. Yeah. <laughs> if it comes to soap boxing. Exactly. Let's just dive Let's in. Let's do it, man. mate. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy crap. Rat pageant? Must be a Baltimore thing. America <laughs> is the greatest country on earth. The strongest, the richest, the most powerful country on earth. As an American, I'm sure you've heard that roughly 135 times a year. 235 if you go to public school. 335 if you go to a Christian academy. We're told that Americans have the best lives of any people in the world. That we have low taxes, small government, and the highest living standards on earth. And most inaccurately, that we're the freest. Well, it is partly true America is the richest country, not just in the world, but in the history of the world. It's really hard to comprehend just how rich we are. <laughs> we have 18 million people who are millionaires. American households own about $100 trillion in wealth, an almost unthinkable amount of money. Okay, so America is the richest country ever. But there's a curious paradox. Most Americans actually have a much worse standard of living than people who live in poorer countries like Germany or Finland or Britain, but how can that be? That shouldn't make any sense. Well, here's the shitty deal. Americans get significantly worse services because our tax dollars don't fund them. So of course our services are worse, and thus we enjoy less happy lives than people who live in the aforementioned countries. Not that difficult a concept to conceive, really. You get what you pay for, said the cartoon dog to the other cartoon dog. And while you might think the reason American tax dollars don't fund as many services is because we pay lower taxes than other countries, that's not even true. When you add federal, state, local, and sales taxes and include other costs and services that our taxes don't cover but other countries' taxes do, like our uniquely high health insurance premiums, you'll find that Americans actually give away more of their wages than most of the developed world. For example, in Canada, for a married worker with two kids, all of the previously mentioned costs combined, from taxes to health insurance premiums, make up only 11% of the average What? Wage. In the what? UK, it's just about 26%. Meanwhile, once you tack on the cost of our outlandish health insurance premiums, you're spending a whopping 43% uh. of your paycheck. That's more than France, Finland, Sweden, and Norway. In real reality, Americans keep much less of what we own than in other countries. Yep. In other countries, their government takes a bit more tax, but then gives that money back to their citizens in the form of health care or job support or a general safety net for all vulnerable citizens, no matter how dusky they are. So what do Americans get for the money we pay in? All right, so <laughs> first... Uh, Let's just split the middle. Let's split the middle here. Yes, uh, that, that it's interesting uh, seeing that graphic of, you know, almost half of our paycheck goes towards uh, uh, taxes and for services that, you know, don't come yeah. free, like uh. health care and, and, you know, doing the taxes for, you know, ETS 21 and like as an independent contractor, it's even worse. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. And, 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 and just 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 uh, let's just go stateside. Like, you know how bad the roads are coming up here? Oh, in America. I've been on third world 
Country roads better than this road. Yeah, this is the state of Maryland, by the way. Yes. Like, you, you go to Baltimore, and, like, most parts you would think is a third world country. You're like, where's the embassy? Like, yeah. that's what I, I yeah. Um, this is crazy, man. But, yeah, like, before the tax man gets your money, you're like, oh, that's how much I make? And then, bloop. Uh-huh. 40% of it, gone. Yeah. You're like, what is going on? Yeah. And like he mentioned earlier, um, like how our our television is not publicly funded. Only PBS yeah. is. That's it. And that's and a shitty publication. Yeah. Like, and, I they, mean, it gave they us. They don't get enough money. It gave us Sesame Street. Yep. That's pretty much it. Ah, uh, Bob Ross. Bob Ross, Thomas the Tank Engine, but that was yep. a British export. So, yep. uh, so for kids stuff, it's perfect. But like for everything else, I ah. would love. I I'm a big fan of of of. Of transparency, which doesn't work in this country. But mm-hmm. if it were to, I would love a, a itemized tax breakdown. Yeah, every year, you know, just like all right, this much went. I would, I would swallow that forty percent bullet a lot easier, knowing where it goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, and then like I feel like that's like because our. Uh, media and our news systems, the uh, two biggest ones, Fox News and CNN, they're privately owned. They're not government funded. Nope. So that's how they become more about entertainment as opposed to actual news. Yeah. And that's why, like, uh, in Britain, like, BBC, that is owned by the – that's government funded. Yeah. So See, that's, that's why you get quality – Entertainment, quality news, quality TV shows, quality music, quality copyright claims. Yeah, quality copyright claims. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> wait, no, like I, I get him. I get where he's coming from. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, like I get it. We're only three minutes into this, man. I'm gonna have a lot to say at the end, but we yes. sure are. So me too. Here we go. Well, sure. We get a crumbling infrastructure, shameful homelessness, and millions of hungry, neglected children, but we also get some of the worst services in the developed world. Again, our healthcare. American healthcare is simultaneously the most expensive, the least efficient, and the least effective healthcare system in the developed world. (laughs) Hey, the devil's trifecta. And in exchange for this extremely expensive, inefficient healthcare system, what do we get? Well, we get some of the worst health outcomes in the developed world. We have fewer hospital beds per capita than people in Turkey or Brunei. Americans have a lower life expectancy than people in Lebanon or Cuba. And in the Mississippi Delta and much of Appalachia, life expectancy is lower than in Bangladesh. Mm. In fact, in 2017, the United Nations sent a commissioner to West Virginia to document what he saw, and he described, quote, third world conditions of absolute poverty, unquote. We even have a higher infant mortality rate than people in Russia and Serbia. In every single metric, America does worse across the board. So why is healthcare so expensive? Because it's so complicated. You have to look for in-network physicians, schedule an established care appointment, beg for coverage from your insurance company that couldn't care less about you, and that's if you're lucky enough to have good insurance. Compare that to Britain and all of those other evil socialist like <laughs> countries where it's simple. Public hospitals provide free treatment to people who need it. That's it. I'll repeat that. Public hospitals provide free treatment to people who need it. And here's the best part. Even though Britain offers healthcare for free, their system is actually a lot cheaper to run than ours. Per capita healthcare spending in the US is almost three times what it is in Britain, and almost five times what Canadians spend. In fact, Americans spend the most per person of any country in the world for healthcare. But the free market is more efficient, you screech. But in America, private systems often aren't efficient at all. Private drug companies have an incentive to charge whatever they can get away with for pharmaceuticals. In Canada, a carton of insulin costs about 20 bucks. In the U.S., it cost 300 bucks. Yep. And with private insurance companies footing the bill, hospitals have an incentive to get as much money out of patients as possible, too. 
In 2015, the average cost of an MRI scan in the U.S. was $1,119. Yep. But it was only $215 in Australia. Spain, about 181 bucks. And our healthcare system is so inefficient that we spend over a third of our cost on administration. <laughs> yeah. The United uh. States spends significantly more on administration than we spend on preventative or long-term health care. That's just not smart. Okay, we get it. We all, all right, let's talk about it. Oh, like man. the healthcare system. I, I I understand it. I understand where he's coming from. You know, I mean, yeah. hey, you know, there's always two sides to the coin. You know, since he used coin references. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's both sides. There's pros and cons to everything, and I, I feel like the healthcare system really uh, leans towards cons. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's really no there's really no upside to it. Uh, no. Like the fact that like I have health insurance through work mm -hmm. and I was I, I thought it was going to cover my getting a covid test right before my wedding. Mm -hmm. And and then a few months later, I get a bill for 100 bucks. Yep. Like that's that's in, insane. Yeah. And the fact I, I'm I'm also lucky. Like next go round, I'm gonna go on my my wife's uh, insurance because she works for the Maryland state and um, government, and uh, they get great health care. Yeah, good do. dental, good uh, vision, it's, and it's, so it's so shitty of a of a establishment that that's a perk. It's health benefits right. to a job. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's all tied to your employer, and if if you're like, you know, you work for yourself most just, of the time. Yep, just don't step on nails. Just don't step on nails. That's drink lots that's, of water and and pray for a swift death. Yes, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and to know like in in another country, like you just go in, get your, get what you need done, and just go out. Like that's now now incredible. See, now see the thing is though. I understand the numbers, but this country just doesn't have the capacity to change. Mm -mm. It's it's so big. It's so big. It, it does not lack. It, it lacks the capacity to pull the e brake on the whole operation and switch it. Yeah. That's a that is a gradual trickling generational down the road will maybe do it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, in all of our attempts that we've tried, you know, the American Obamacare. Yeah. Uh like that has been gutted like and that's barely uh does any good. And 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 I I'll, I'll tell you this, the the best for us, for me, the best way I can I can see us and I know I know why this country isn't ready to handle a government funded health what, what what we call it health healthcare system healthcare system is because the VA for veterans is run by the government yeah and that is terrible you will die before you get seen right right you can speak on that you will die before you get seen that right there is a key indicator that this country is not yet ready to make that hurdle and i think that the healthcare system and pharmaceutical companies have this weird stranglehold on fucking everything. Mm -hmm. It's all about money. It's all about money. Yeah. It's all about money. You know, it, it, there's one thing about having power and abusing power. I, I just think that, uh, I don't know. I, Corporations I, I, run I, the country, man. Yeah. I And I see that. But at the same time, I see the, the we have a, a, a government funded healthcare system we do but it's not effective and that's for veterans for veterans and there's also one for our elderly yeah. medicaid and medicare um I, I i can't speak on either one of them uh no, it's there it's there i don't know how well it works i see what he's saying i understand it i understand there's pros and cons of freaking everything yeah right and you have to take everything with a grain of salt I get it but there is a national health care system mm -hmm. for us for sorry for veterans for veterans and it fails which means that means the country is not ready for that mm -hmm. if it can't handle 
the amount of veterans there are that need help, how the hell is it going to handle everyone? Can't. It just can't. If that, if that little bit, if that percentage, it's not a little bit, it's a lot of veterans that can't get help. But if it can't handle that percentage of the populace, how the hell is it going to handle everyone? That's something that... That's that's a it's, hell of a perspective, man. It, th- that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I understand it. I think it needs to happen. Will it happen in our lifetime? I doubt it. It won't. I freaking doubt it. Yeah, from the way you're talking, it won't. All right, let's go. Let's do it. We all know that American health care is so much more expensive, you say, but that's the cost of having the freest freedom <laughs> in God's favorite country. <laughs> well, guess what? Medical procedures that are totally free in Britain, like giving birth cost tens of thousands of dollars in the United States. Yep. I mean, you want to talk about the cost of freedom. Sadly, because of these high costs, Americans often avoid going to the doctor, something almost half the population say they do. With shoddy or non-existent health insurance, Americans will wait until their conditions force them into the emergency room where treatment is far more expensive. Again, not a smart system. Quite often... It's like, that's why the stereotype of Men, particularly American men, oh, yeah. comes from of uh, why would I go to the doctor? Nothing's uh, wrong. Nothing's wrong, and it's kind of a back in the back of their mind. They're thinking this is expensive, and we can't afford it. Yep, that's that's where it comes from. I I I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yep. Often they end up putting off medical visits and dying. Susan Finley, a 53-year-old Walmart employee in Colorado, got pneumonia and took one day off of work beyond what Walmart's policy allows. So, of course, Walmart's going to Walmart, which they did by firing her. Without her job, she lost her nominal health care coverage, she struggled to find new work, and after avoiding a visit to the doctor for flu-like symptoms, she was found dead in her apartment. When Americans do manage to get treated, they frequently can't afford it. Simple, life-saving treatments can cost tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars, and if they don't have really good insurance, they're forced to take on medical debt. Tens of millions of Americans owe medical debt, often into the tens of thousands of dollars. Meanwhile, in a country like Britain or Norway, medical debt is almost unheard of. But hey, that's why GoFundMe is such a critical component of American healthcare. (laughs) <laughs> one in three That's GoFundMe terrible. campaigns is now for medical bills. I'll repeat that. One in three GoFundMe yeah. campaigns is now for medical bills. America is such a strong, powerful, rich, and great country that its citizens have to beg strangers on the internet for money so they can get life-saving treatments that are free in the rest of the developed world. But hey, that's just healthcare. Americans get terrible deals wherever you look. Let's... Ah. So like it's it's like you should be surprised by that Walmart lady's uh, story, but it's it's yeah. kind of common. That's that's we're, we're kind of numb to that. It's like and like, yeah. it's terrible. It's like yeah, man, yeah, you know, one falls, ten replace them. Yeah, it's about money. Yeah, it's about money. Yeah, not about life. Yeah, it, it's why like I get guilted so much like when I try and take off work. Um, which I, I see is the next one there, but yeah, I, I've at where we're at with my where I'm working, I'm a school bus driver. Like, if I take off one day of work, or if I have to call off for oh. something, they will say they have to cancel the route because they don't have anybody to cover it. And that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy in and of itself. Yeah, you know, I just I just feel like you know I I I get it. I, I fucking get this. I get this hard. I mm-hmm. understand it. You know? I just... What can you do? What, yeah. Like, Captain Obvious. Yeah. Yeah, No a, a bunch of no shit Sherlock. Yeah. Now what are we going to do to fix it? Like, yeah. Like, everyone knows the shit's broken. Yeah. It's not like, oh, wait, what? No, everyone that gets a fucking paycheck knows our system's broken. Oh, yeah. When they're like, I made this much, but I'm paid this much? So what am I making? Mm-hmm. Because after taxes come out, it's not worth it right. to work. Right. Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, 40% is 40%. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why you take so much time to, you know, with your with your son. Yeah. Like, that's... It's it's you, pretty much... this. It's it, more effective. It 
Yeah. You. Yeah. It's 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 the worst. Yeah. But, you know, like, don't just pose problems, pose solutions. Yeah. That's the thing. In any kind of pro con thing, I was taught if you're gonna if you're gonna tell a problem, have a solution ready. Mm-hmm. Or else, you're just stating the obvious. Right. Right. But I understand it. Yeah, we're gonna come across more problems here. We're only well. <laughs> most of our audience is from the UK. Yeah, they know their system is either good or bad, and yeah. that's personal opinion and experience. Oh uh, yeah. And uh, so, yeah. for many, that's the go-to. For many, that's terrible. I, and I don't know about that. I yeah. just know about ours, which is in tatters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. Yep. Americans get terrible deals wherever you look. Let's take work, for example. Americans work longer hours than people in any other rich country in the world, and that's not because they enjoy sleep deprivation and not seeing their <laughs> families for days at a time. It's because they don't want to starve or freeze, or die. See, America has the least generous job support programs, the least generous family benefits, and the least generous unemployment benefits of any wealthy country. It's one of the only countries on Earth that doesn't guarantee paid time off for vacations. It doesn't even help provide paid time off for parents who just had a child. And it's not coincidental that we're also one of the most hostile countries to workers' rights. America has one of the lowest unionization rates in the entire world. Maybe this deprivation, our refusal to give people the means to lead a good, dignified life, commensurate with how rich our country is, can explain a bit of what we've seen in the United States over the last few decades. Fraying communities, rising rates of depression and suicide, huge numbers of deaths from drug overdoses. These so-called deaths of despair, suicide, drug overdoses, alcoholic liver disease, they're one big reason why American life expectancy has actually started to decline over the last few years. And with such poor conditions, it's not a surprise that poverty is so rampant in the United States. America devotes a smaller percentage of spending on social welfare than any other industrialized economy because, say it with me, socialism is evil. It's evil. <laughs> Go to Denmark and try telling those happy, healthy families enjoying their paid vacation that their system of government is evil. Guess what? I guarantee they'll know you're an American. But I digress. America also has the highest rate of child poverty of any developed country, and the highest percentage of workers earning significantly less than the national median income. That seems pretty evil to me. What the hell is Especially child since poverty? Such a tiny fraction. It's where um, the parents can't afford oh. to uh, take care of them. Yeah. You know. I was like, child poverty does. All right. Anyway. Yeah. yeah got yeah. it. Yeah. There's a lot to unpack here, but let's yeah. let's finish it out and take as much of your money for themselves and their families as you will let them. All the while, both parties smile and shake hands. Across every single metric, no people accept a worse deal than Americans today. High taxes, high cost of living for next to nothing in return from the government. The most expensive healthcare system for the worst health outcomes. More money taken from workers for the highest rate of child poverty. We are the richest country in the history of the world, but we have fewer miles of high-speed rail than Uzbekistan. We are the greatest country in the world, yet we have the most people in prison of any country, and the highest incarceration rate as well, and a higher rate of police killings than in Angola and Sudan. America is bad at everything because instead of choosing to make life better for people through a public health care system or more generous child care policies or better public transit or programs that allow people to spend more time with their families, American law is designed and crafted to protect a class of parasitical middleman industries. Instead of using a proportionally tiny piece of the massive amount of the wealth in this country to make people's lives healthier and happier. Most of our elected leaders are, and have been for generations, engaged in a massive project of looting. Gently and lovingly guiding as much money as possible from working people into the pockets of the well-connected and the ultra-rich. Think about that as we start hearing about the inevitable rise in homelessness, poverty, starvation, and sickness that will occur during these coming months and years in the greatest, strongest, richest, most powerful country on the face of the earth. I'm David Cross for the Gravel Institute. Gravel? 
Yeah. Froze gravel. So there is a lot to unpack there. Yeah. Let's start with socialism. <sighs> yeah. Go uh, ahead. Like, for many, many of us here, like, we confuse the term socialism and communism. Like they're they're not the same thing, and 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 it, and it came from a the Red Scare of the Cold War. Yeah. Like communism was you know the enemy, and I mean obviously we've seen in countries like Russia and Cuba that communism doesn't work, but that is it is construed with socialism, which is you know you know the idea of taking our tax dollars and using them for. The greater good. I think, think if there was a balance between the both capitalism and socialism, if there was a balance somehow, if there was a balance, I think all, you know, it, it'd be it'd be crazy to think that the people that that are calling the shots, quote unquote, they're just puppets. They're, it, it, everything's being controlled by something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is money. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and either... Uh, acquiring wealth or repaying debt, we all at the bottom rung of the ladder suffer. Yeah. And, and that's just how it will always be, and not one person can change it. Right. And it's It's been a thing for generations, and yeah. we just let it happen. Yeah. You know? And to the point of working a lot, yes, we work a lot of hours. In fact, like, we're meeting up after working hours. Yeah. Uh, to to come do this, Just, it's, it's a side hustle. Yeah. Side hustle culture is big right now in America. You can't you can't just have one thing. You can't yeah. just have one thing. You got to have multiple burners. Burn. You got to have two, maybe three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why you see a, a rise in like people selling Avon or you know working DoorDash or Uber. We're doing this. We're doing this. Yeah. yeah. I love this country. I'm proud of this country. I don't like where it is. The 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 country as a whole. I love it. I fought for it. I will always value this this soil here. Mm -hmm. The people that comprise it can go suck a duck. <laughs> you know, but but whatever though. It, it's just it's just one of those things where like. I, I get it has a lot of freaking flaws. Yeah. And, and aside from the fighting for the part, I am in agreement with you 100%. I love my country. I love my identity as an American. I don't like where we're at. Yeah. I mean, what is to like about it? I mean... No, no. It hasn't given you a reason to be proud. Right. I mean, there's a part of our, you know, the culture. Like, I like... I like my barbecue. I like my oh, yeah. my NASCAR race. I like my um, TV shows. Uh, I like net my Netflix. But yeah. like, there's there's not a lot that makes me want to you know wave my flag. Well, well okay, I, like yeah, I get that. But at the same time, like, I, 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 there's a lot of there's a million other worse places. I feel like I could be. Yeah, I I would I would and agree. So. For that one reason, and I feel like that's the one thing I, I've got to experience in my short amount of life, is I've been to a lot of places that you don't need to be. Right. Ever. So yeah. I'm gratefully thankful for this country. Yeah, and and, and like <laughs> the graphics that they were putting up on there, I'm I'm let me just see like if they're like listed and sourced in the description. Uh, yeah, there are citations in there, so I'll, I'll give them credit, like, where they got their, uh, yeah. their facts and figures from, like, there are probably worse places to be. Yeah. For the businessman, for the thriving businessman, this is, yes, this is the best freaking country. Yeah. Yes. Who makes you the money? Us. Yes. Down on the 99%. If I was, if I was to go to my younger self... I would have punched him in the face with like invest in Pfizer. Yeah. Bah I hit him in the face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude. Right, Just, right. You know, it's like stuff like that. Like it, it it all this stuff. And it's not and it's not left or right sided. It's both sides kind of just they they, they both fucking do this. They're yeah, both they do. sides are fucking puppets. They do. Yeah. And it they takes are. 
the non-extremist of either side to be able to step back like, yeah, they both kind of are saying the same fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. Promising one thing, never delivering, and being pulled on strings. Mm Mm-hmm. One way or another. Yeah. And that's why it's just this whole thing has progressed to get out of hand. Yeah. And and being married to someone who has government experience, who, who has been there and done that, yeah, there is a lot of gridlock in there. And there is a lot of politicians that have their pockets lined with the special interest groups. Yeah. It, it, it's... it's it is. It's the reality of the situation, and that's and the, 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 like so. So here's my thing. Fucking now what? Like these videos. Like I get it. I get it. You gotta have these videos, these eye opener videos. Yeah. Everyone knows this shit's broken. Yeah. Everyone knows this shit's yeah. broken. Who doesn't? Yeah. Like, and my thing is, how do we fix it? Both. Oh. Uh, Man, this could be two hours long. Yeah, this yeah, could we, be we two fucking hours long, man. Yeah, and we and we don't have solutions. And if we had solutions, we probably wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and so that's the thing. Like, okay, I get it. It's a good video, good way to break down things, but I I understand we are not the best at everything, and and we shouldn't be. Yeah, because. If you're always at the if you're if you're always the best at everything, where do you go from there? Where do you go from there? You gotta always have something to get better at. And then I love how like stats always fluctuate and there's always room for improvement. Always. Always. Um I just you know, I'm not a fan of people getting rich off of off of the the pain and suffering of the of the lower. But that's how it's been since human. Yeah. And you notice this. That's where a lot of these these months, you know, come from. Like the way that people are making money from from Black Lives Matter, from you know Memorial Day and Veterans Day, through the LGBTQIA. Hope I got that right. In in it's the reason they are being put in the forefront is because companies can make money from it. And also, the more of these things, the more divided everyone gets. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know. The, the 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 one way to divide everyone is make clubs that not everyone belongs to. That's yeah. one way to do it. Yeah, it, it get people talking about it, yeah. whether they agree with it or not. Yeah, and here's my thing. It's not about separating everyone. It's about unifying everyone. Right. And they, every, everyone's doing it the wrong fucking way. Right. And right. so here we are along for the ride, and David Cross is, is – I like him as a comedian. He's mm-hmm. very funny. And he's not my usual go-to, but he is very funny. Yeah. He's a very funny comedian, and he is very knowledgeable. Oh, yeah. The, but, you know, when, when, when you take a comedian and put him like this, it's tough. It's tough because it's like, I still like him as a comedian person. This is very opinionated. Yeah, it's very opinionated. And, and he's speaking to some group. Yeah. And it's like, okay, you got to take it all with a grain of salt. Yeah. You know, you can poke holes and all establishments ever that ever were yeah that's that's you know anything that's made by humans is flawed absolutely that's how it goes um but i just think that this video i you know what i will give this video two thumbs up okay i will okay i just you know this is not our usual on this channel we tend to stay on the path of neutral Right, right. Try and try and stay as neutral as possible because we're here for entertainment. Yeah, we're here for uh, make your day happier, not yeah the up opposite. Yeah, you know. But you know what better place to see two Americans react to why America sucks? Yeah, exactly. You know, because well, I'm pretty sure we can find something why America rocks. Yeah, and it's yeah. basically every country music video. And, and you know what? Well, I'll say this in the comments: give us what you like about America. If any. If any. <laughs> something. Something. <laughs> That's no. They're going to be like, insert hate, hashtag hate. Uh, yes. I cannot wait for oh the, my see the comment God. section they're on gonna, this one. We're going to have to release this as a twofer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's just end it there. Let's end it. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting that bell, and sharing with your friends if you've made it this far. <laughs> yeah.
Until next time, uh, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck, and unplug and find joy. We'll see y'all next time. Later.